ladies is being a uni wife that bad i don't think it is wait a damn minute <laughs> wait a damn is there black people <laughs> right see i never knew joy before she entered oh she will be my wife i never knew love before her presence oh the love of my life and she's sweet like honey that smile she gives just me hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here and i'm guessing a lot of you are then this is beverly talks i am beverly make sure you please hit that subscribe button so today's video is going to be quick quick fast fast snappy snappy so um i've been getting a lot of dms about um university what it comes to pick is there black people in university of birmingham all these questions well if you want to find out then just stay and watch and if you don't want to find out then <laughs> peace out so I'm going to be giving you the tea about my first year university experience. Um, people have been wanting this video and I've just been prolonging it like. I did that for what? I I did that for, for what? So, yeah. So, cool. I'm just going to get bang straight into it um i do law at the university of birmingham there are three unis in birmingham there's bcu there's aston and there's university of birmingham so university of birmingham has like a big big campus so it's um far away from aston and bcu aston and bcu is in the city center um where like you have the selfridges and the boring and all of that jazz um when I first got to Birmingham, yeah, I was under the impression that it's so, so far. But the reality is, is one, it's a train journey away or a bus journey away. I prefer train. I don't think train is cheaper back both ways. It's like one pound twenty. So, yeah, it's a quick train. And if you get the train, you're going to be there in, what, 10 minutes? Like, it's actually fine. So this is like the burning, burning question that people have been asking me. Is there black people? <laughs> right. Let's get something straight. If you're going to the University of Birmingham, you're going to a Russell Group Uni, okay? At a Russell Group Uni, there's, the majority is never going to be black. Like, it's just that simple. At a Russell Group Uni, the majority is never... Well, you know what? Yeah, inshallah, in the future, maybe it'll be black. But as of now, the majority is not is never black. And to be fair, I don't even think it's white either. I think the majority is Asian. Well, in the University of Birmingham, the majority that it's asian it's asian so that might be chinese japanese indian like just asian in it and then it literally goes asian white black people so that's how the ethnicity is set up if you want to meet black people then i highly 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 suggest that these acs events acs these acs events attend them even if you don't want the membership but if you're going to the university of birmingham hang on mm -mm. Wait a minute. Mm. If you're going to the University of Birmingham, I do advise you get the um, you do get the ACS membership because like they're introducing this like black card thing that gets you know discounts off you know hair therapy. Just a disclaimer. Just a disclaimer. But yeah, um, even if you don't join the ACS, go to like the ACS events that they might do at the start of the week during freshers week so that's like girls night boys night games night meet this meet that meet m meet y meet w meet 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 people if you want to meet black people because there are black people but it's just that there's not a lot okay there's not a lot and if you're from london watching this year don't make the mistake that i made yeah i j like wow being in london ugh, like i just assume that when i go to birmingham i'm gonna meet black people like, all the black people will be like me from London. That's not the case. You're going to get your black people from Leeds, Manchester, Liverpool, like, Sheffield, you know, all these random places. Like, the black people is so little. And then, uh, black people are so little. And then, there's, like, black people from different areas that might not act the way that you act, if you know what I'm trying to say type of thing. But still, mingle and find your people. So I feel like I've covered black people. Let's get on to accommodations because you lots have been asking me about this one too. Um, accommodation. I'm going to just make it easy. In my opinion, yeah, best to 
not to worst, but my top picks of combinations would literally be Born Brook number one for this this reason it is right next to, it's so close to campus that it's on campus you walk out walk straight turn left campus do you know what i mean and the walk straight is not long as a 10 second walk walk straight turn left you're on campus born brook accommodation yeah it is nice the kitchen is big and the rooms are nice it's a nice sized room showers nice ensuite nice it's not a, it's not um a wet room oh watch out I will not do a wet room and neither should you this is not a wet room and like it's carpet for me the carpet thing that's that's just a preference i love i love me a carpet do you know what i mean if you love your carpet born born brook is your top pick um it's just that it's expensive accommodation in birmingham is expensive okay but i'm gonna get onto that um a bit later so born brook i think it's about 6.5 for the whole year like 6.5k for the whole year my second pick yeah would actually be metalworks even though i complain to about this this my com so much my second pick would be metalworks again right next to uni because it literally goes metalworks born brook university of birmingham so again for metalworks i walk straight i turn left i'm on campus it's about a 20 second walk cool and again carpet calm um spacious in terms of the kitchen calm even has a nice living room area with a little tv calm and then it's not a wet room sweet do you know what i mean what more could you ask for i think that's about 6.7 for the whole year and it has a reception so you will never ever ever miss a parcel that's the thing about um bornbrook bornbrook reception is like joint with another accommodation called jarrot hall which is just down the road it's it's a bit long metal works the reception is right there it's right next to you very convenient and then after metalworks i give it to battery park baby girl battery park is beautiful it's a beautiful accommodation yeah it doesn't have carpet but it's still beautiful like you walk in you feel like you're in a hotel the reception is like 24 hour reception like it's you have pool tables multiple you've got cinema rooms you've got study rooms it's like there's just random studios there like there's toilets within the building it's just that accommodation is beautiful and it would be my top pick but i'm lazy it's not far from the university but it's a 10 minute walk i don't see myself doing a 10 minute walk to uni i'm so sorry um but on the back side as well it's right across from the train station that will get you to the city center so that's a that's a big plus battery park is it's beautiful then after Battery Park, I'm not too sure about the other accommodations, but I would personally go to Liberty Living. It's a bit ghetto, but I'm so sorry. Again, it's across the road from university. It's so local. It's unsweet. It's not a red room pattern. My worst picks would be any Ocom in um the Veil. Vale. The Veil. Vale. The walk from the Veil vale to the walk from the Veil vale to uni is un it's unnecessary. It's about a 20 minute walk why am i walking 20 minutes to get to school i'm so sorry and the thing about me is where i live i live very close to my secondary school my sixth form so i'm just used to short walks i'm not walking to get to uni if you don't mind walking by any means go to chamberlain chamberlain is a nice expensive expensive or um and then i feel like the other comes in the girl in the veil are just a bit ghetto that's where all like the shared or commons and that like but we're gonna get onto that so when it comes to rent now yet, yeah, if your comments is on suite, I think you're paying more than 6000 for the year. I don't think there's an account that's less than like 5 points. Oh, wait, my worst pick a com. Wait, no, 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 no. If, if you're going to the University of Birmingham, do not, do not pick, um, okay, you know what, yeah. I'm going to insert in the middle of the video, but it's an accommodation that's really, really far from campus. It's so far that you there's a shuttle bus yeah to take you to uni and if you miss that shuttle bus you're not going to uni do not put yourself in that predicament yes it's an ensuite accommodation but it's too far i think it begins with e me i don't know i'm gonna it's gonna be right here the name's gonna be right here cool when it comes to pricing guys 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 if you want to live the lavish life of ensuite you're gonna be spending the cash dollar big money because that is about you're not gonna get a com cheaper than 5.5 that, that's an ensuite so what I will say to that is manage your money. You get if 
you get the higher student finance, which is like 8.9, but 9.1 now, because rent increases as well. So student finance increases increases with rent. I'm sure it's like 9.1 now. Um, You have to manage it. You have to really budget, especially because your rent is paid like termly. If you're paying rent monthly, then, ooh, good child, you better budget right. You better budget right. And if you're going to metal work, so you might be paying rent monthly. So budget correctly, okay? Your student finance is not going to do nothing for you. And that's just that. I know this video is late, but I really hope that if you're watching this, you have been saving up during the summer, okay? Even though it was a pandemic, I hope you've been saving up because you're going to need your own money to go to uni, okay? As mad as it sounds, you might have to buy textbooks for your course. You might have to buy equipment for your course. I don't know. Like, even just living and, like, the partying and... Oh, we're going to get into that. The partying and that and the cabbing is all expensive. So, you need to have your own money. Student finance is not going to cover that. Student finance is going to cover your weekly shop to Audi. Not even Sainsbury's, okay? Not even Morrison's. Not even Tesco. It's going to cover your weekly shop to Audi. That's what it's going to do, Okay? um if you are um getting the maximum amount of student finance then you're most likely to receive a 1k or 2k bursary yay free money mm. i would say your bursary is your student finance okay it gets split up into two terms you get 1k a term i think you get your first your first 1k in like december ish that term not, not the first term so the second term and you get it in the third term as well you get two sets of 1k spend it wisely use it wisely you might want to save it do whatever you want with it that money is free money and your student finance should cover your rent if you're not getting the maximum amount of student finance that bears you forget it you're not you're not it's not going to see you okay Bursary is not going to see you if you're not getting the maximum amount of student finance or like maybe like 200 pounds less than the maximum amount so yeah if you're not getting the bursary then um i just hope you've saved up it's just it's that simple moving on to partying right cool the parties are not all that the parties are nothing special i didn't even enjoy partying in birmingham i'll tell you that much what it is yeah is if you've made a bunch of new friends right and you're going partying with them. I guess it could be exciting. But you have to remember, you don't know these people. You don't know how drunk they get. You don't know how rowdy people get. So be cautious. Be careful. Because you could be going out with people that like to get white girl wasted. Right? And it's like, you didn't know that. And now, like, you're carrying someone home who's vomiting. Or... Are, you, are you seeing the problem here? Yes, because I am. Um... Cool. Be careful with who you make friends with or with who you party with. Don't... It's not necessary for you to travel to sit, to different cities for a party. Especially if you have nowhere to go after the party. Especially if you're, if you're like, getting coached back that same early morning. It's not... It's just not worth it. Um, I would say if you're going to travel to a different city for a party, make sure you know someone in that city who you can, like, sleep over with or you're just going to check on someone type of thing. Like, do you know what I mean? You're just passing by the party. Don't go and buy tickets for a party in Nottingham when you don't know no one in Nottingham. What is your business in Nottingham? That same party is going to be in Birmingham. Like, think about it. Just think about it for a second, okay? Like, I would encourage you lots to go out and party. Have fun. Party hard, do you know what I mean? But stay in your city and don't go to all the parties because it does get repetitive. Do you know what I mean? Just figure out by the group chats which ones are going to be popping and go to those ones. Do you know what I mean? Um, For me, I only went to about three parties throughout the whole of Birmingham. Only because... Um, why did I only go to three parties? I'm cheap, okay? Tickets are like 7 to like £14. Pounds. I'm not paying for that. And I'm not even a party girl like that anyways. Like, don't get twisted. I can I can party when I when I want to, but it's not adapting to be partying every two weeks. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not adapt. When it comes to link ups, yeah, try to go to as many like games nights, kitchen little link ups as you can, just to make friends, see who you vibes with. Um I didn't do that, but hey, you should. <laughs> um, oh child. When it comes to workload, look, I do law. Yeah, that's supposed to be a hefty course, but 
I genuinely believe that first year was designed for you to pass and kind of bake off. So don't take it too seriously. Like, bake off. Like, go out with your friends. Like, link up with people. Have fun. Like, enjoy your first year and live in the moment. Don't be too much. Oh, my God, my coursework. Like, JJ, relax. You will get you will get the 2-1. You will get it. Do you know what I mean? Ladies. Ladies. Is being a uni wife that bad? Because I don't think it is. The only reason I'm saying this here, don't, no one judge me yet. Think about it. I'm going to cook for myself regardless. And now there's a boy buying the groceries that I need to cook. And all I have to do is give him some. Like, it's just not that bad. <laughs> it's really bad when you're using your own money to buy the groceries and cooking for someone's son. No, that's dead. Right? If you're buying me groceries, yeah. You're helping me save money, yeah? My weekly shop is about £26 and you've just gone and spent that £26 and all you want is a little bit of food. Honey, I'm going to cook for you. You can eat, we can eat, we can eat together. It's not that bad. However, don't come and now just be, like, cooking for people, right? Using your good money and your good time and then feeding people for free. That's what you don't do. That's genuinely what you just don't ever never do okay right just another piece of advice yeah for all my ladies out here watching this thinking i'm a i'm a find my man's in uni i'm a find my husband in uni no 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 you're not okay these niggas that come to uni don't go to uni thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna find my wife, I'm gonna find the babes. Uh, they think new vagina, new vagina. That is it, your vagina. Be careful when it comes to talking to boys in uni, okay? Because they will G B delete, okay? they will you will accidentally become someone's fuck buddy like you genuinely will you will find yourself in a situation shit but he is just single period like you'll be in a situation ship and he'll be single period do not do that to yourself the the chances of you finding like the love of your life in uni is so like slim it could happen but it's so slim and like the reality is there's not there's probably not going to be a lot of sweet boys in birmingham because one i don't know why but birmingham is just like majority girls and two all the sweet ones are in aston and bcu like pfft, <laughs> ah no all jokes aside there like don't even go into uni with that mentality i'm gonna go find my uni babes i'm gonna go find my uni husband i'm gonna go get married to the person i'm gonna i'm chatting to in uni no you're not dead dead okay but what you can do is get your hair laid by me um in you that's what you can do um yeah so i think that about sums up everything okay wait before i end this video i want to talk about my personal experience i did like a funny video with my friends like funny video with my friends in it um which was a bit of bant but i'm a bit i'm be dead serious when it comes to my experience with uni my experience is this simple um in my course i only made one friend um that's it i should have made more okay make friends in your course my experience is my attendance was appalling okay emails about my attendance is a below 40 percent yikes who would have thought not me my experience was that i like could have failed modules if like if the lectures wasn't recorded i would have, I would have failed a lot of modules i would i would have failed my experience is i just didn't make friends in my university it's just that simple i feel like in my uni what i did i did everything so wrong i was too paranoid about observing 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 i didn't even have time to mingle and my thing is yeah i've got like a resting bitch face so even though i'm shy it's coming across as do you know what i mean i'm i'm doing this but they're seeing 
because I came up off as I came across as stuck up and rude and you don't want to do that to yourself so guys like remember everyone is new to university you're all going to be shy do you know what I mean make an effort to make friends so people do not think you're um rude and it's just that simple period so yeah guys that's the end of my first year university experience um i'm actually sorry for the delay in this video i don't know why it took so long like <laughs> i genuinely don't know why um yeah you won't be seeing any more videos about university because that's it that's done like i hated it there it's just that simple but you shouldn't hate it because you should make it more of an effort it's just that simple i'm done talking about uni pim pim i wash my hands i'm done it's kaput it's zan but make sure you still hit that subscribe button guys give this video a big thumbs up if you learned something if it was insightful if you still have questions comment them comment them down below and if this was helpful comment down below as well i want to know if i you know help to nigger out <laughs> yeah so i'll see you lots in my next video hopefully um i post weekly yeah like comment subscribe bye guys